back to the channel guys it's your favorite boxes ambassador zuljin here to continue with our ultimate guide series on boxy tactics today we're going to be checking out all about the voxel token guys if you've been playing draft arena or you've snuck into the extreme arena and did some winning you'll start accumulating some of these voxel tokens and there's a ton of utility and flexibility with this token as well as serving as a reward mechanism for your wins and we'd like to be able to access it and be able to analyze it and move it around and interact with it in general so today i'm going to bring you through a bunch of these setups if you go to market.voxies.io you'll see that if you have any voxel tokens tokens in your wallet or are connected to your account as well as any earned voxel that you've been accumulating if you go to your profile here you'll see that you have an earned setup right here okay and you also have a balance if there's any balance in your wallet now if this is your first time accessing your wallet that you connected with it or whatever you won't have any balance naturally and if you don't have any wins you won't have any earned but these will accumulate as you go now the way to get these from earned to balance is to claim them. There's a couple things that we need to do to get to that point. So earned needs to be claimed. The claims can be accessed a couple times a week and Sunday night is your claim that you can, you can get it takes usually a couple days before the claim actually processes and then a few days later on Wednesday night you can do it again and again it'll take a couple days to process and you'll be able to claim twice a week you don't have to claim twice every week you don't even have to claim every week but if you accumulate thousands and thousands and thousands of these tokens over time you should claim regularly that way you don't accumulate too many that you'll have limitations on claiming them i think the limit right now is 2500 tokens but don't 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 quote me on that it could go up or down based on the future you know but at this state right now i think it's 2500 tokens at every claim period so 5000 tokens a week that you can claim if you earn that many so getting into it the way to claim here is that you can go to this earn tab and you can click it and then click claim voxel now if you haven't made a claim yet then you'll be able to claim if you press claim and you've already claimed it'll give you an error when it brings up your wallet if you go to sign right here it'll tell you that either, either already claim you see it has already a, a pending voxel claim okay so if it didn't it would say success you've been you've claimed successfully and when the token drop processes it'll just go directly into your wallet now you can also do this in game if you go to the voxy tactics game you'll see a big orange button that says voxel at the bottom of the screen okay and it'll accumulate and track all of your wins including any wins that you have through rentals that you may have or whatever and you'll see the accumulated voxel here with a claim button now I've already claimed, so my claim button is grayed out. But as soon as this processes, this total, this pending total, will not be there anymore. The remaining voxels that are claimable will appear here, and this is where this, this number will accumulate. And this claim button will be bright green. That way, when you press it, it'll claim. Now, you can't process more than one claim for three days. So when you press this claim, you won't be able to claim again until the next claim is processed okay so just be aware of that now if you have all of this done you'll have voxel tokens in your wallet you can access this by clicking on the metamask wallet and you'll see that you have somatic in your wallet or voxel tokens in your wallet now if this is the first time ever accessing your wallet like this you won't have any matic and you won't see voxel token so i'm going to show you how to get those the first thing that we need to do is go to a place that we can get the actual voxel token contract address okay this is like the unique number numerical identifier that will let you access the token through your wallet sometimes metamask will prompt you to import tokens like it'll automatically recognize that there's a balance in this wallet and you'll be able to click that it'll just be a little border here that you can click it'll say import one token and when you press that it'll show you that you have some voxel tokens but if you don't have that what you want to do is open up a browser and go to a website called coinmarketcap.com 
okay now you can access a few different websites as well like coin gecko is another popular one but i use coin market coin market cap uh, more often so if we go to the search menu and type in voxel which is the name of the token or sometimes if there's a ticker like for instance the chain that we're using is polygon but the tokens that we're looking for on it is matic so you'll be searching the ticker which is matic m-a-t-i-c okay and you can see here that voxel comes up and you can select it and what it'll do is bring you to this little page now there's a bunch of information here you can look at the chart how the token's been performing over the last week month year or day and then you can also see the current market cap the volume the price pricing how many tokens in circulation if you scroll down right here you'll see contracts now some tokens have multiple chains that they're available on but you'll see the primary chain that it's on which is polygon and this number right here as well as a copy to clipboard button if you click this it'll be copied to your clipboard then you can access the metamask app then hit import tokens you'll go to custom token and you'll paste the contract address here okay now you can click next and then it'll show you how many voxel tokens you have you can add this whether or not you have any voxel tokens uh, but if you press import then it'll be shown in your window and you can do things with it and interact with it here like you can click swap for instance and get some with another token let's say that you have some usdc or some usdt and you put a swap in if you had ten dollars worth of usdc that you wanted to buy some voxel with it would give you an exchange rate for this so ten dollars will give you roughly 27.5 voxel right now now to do any transactions on this or to actually send this to an exchange to cash out or whatever you'll need the gas tokens which is matic on the polygon network so unfortunately this is where it gets a little bit complicated but don't worry i'm gonna walk you through it let me back up for a second and explain gas tokens everything on chain everything that you do usually requires a gas token expenditure from whatever network you're on okay so we're on the polygon blockchain okay or the polygon network and the gas token for the polygon network is currently matic okay so in order to send any voxel tokens to another wallet or whatever it takes a little bit of gas usually the fees are less than 10 cents sometimes they're a little bit more depending on congestion but usually they're relatively cheap and in order to do anything on these tokens you'll need to spend a little bit of this matic so to get Matic, you either have to buy it from an exchange or you can actually get it directly through the wallet, okay? So let's go to the wallet idea first, okay? Now, if you go to click on the Matic, which will be in your wallet automatically, it'll show the, the, the name of it. You won't have a balance here, but it'll say Matic, Matic Zero Tokens, okay? So if you click Buy and Sell, metamask has a built-in feature to be able to buy tokens okay you'll just select your area wherever you're from in this case mine is the united states and i'm from louisiana and then it's going to ask you what your payment method is and when it loads up you'll be able to use a credit or debit card your paypal bank transfers all this stuff okay and if you click on whatever it is and click continue you'll be able to put in the amount of tokens that you want to buy all right you'll also be able to cash out through metamask which is very very cool okay and the different types of fees that it might cost like for instance you spend a hundred dollars on Merc through mercury io you'll only get 92.45 matic tokens or around 95 dollars worth okay and these fees can be a little bit different you'll see this new quotations keep popping up okay that'll refresh every once in a while it's because the rates of these are always changing okay but it usually only takes five to ten minutes in order to get this transaction this is by far the easiest way to do it you can also sign up for an exchange account through uh, one of the exchanges that handle voxel tokens and matic tokens and a good one that i use because i'm in the us is coinbase another one that's not available to me but is very widely accepted is binance okay so anytime you want to get tokens through an exchange or send tokens to an exchange to convert to cash Binance or Coinbase both allow you to do this, and I'll show you that right now. Let's say you've been accumulating Voxel for a little while and you're ready to cash out. 
there will be some fees involved in converting your voxel to cash and sending them to your bank account but it's usually relatively minimal depending on the size of the transaction but to do this what you'll want to do is you'll have to sell your voxel tokens from here but you'll need to get them from your wallet to the exchange so this is how to do that okay what you'll want to do is click send and receive when you're on the voxel okay and then you go to receive and you have a wallet address that you'll have to send to if you're on mobile you could scan this qr code for instance or you could copy the address here now once it's copied to clipboard you'll go to your wallet you'll click the token that you want to send in this case it will be voxel you could do this with any token by the way and then you click send now you want to paste in the public address and you want to transfer the amount of voxel that you want to send. You type in that amount of voxel, you click next. It's going to prompt you to confirm the transaction and show you your gas fee, okay? And it's gonna get sent to Coinbase or Binance or wherever you send it to. Now, it takes a little while to do this, sometimes a half hour to an hour, depending on what type of exchange that you're sending it to and the traffic on it. But once you have your voxel token, in your account on your exchange you can click the send and receive button i'm sorry you can click the buy and sell button okay and then you can sell your voxel token to cash okay so i click sell i would put in the amount of voxel that i want to sell here you click preview sale it shows you what the fee would be to actually sell this okay then if you press accept it will turn it into cash and then from there you can just go to withdraw it in your account if you go to my assets for instance and click on the US dollars or whatever your currency is you can click cash out right here put the amount of currency and it'll get sent to your bank account or your PayPal or whatever so however you have your account set up is the way that I'll do that but it's essentially that easy is sending a token to and from the exchanges with your wallet directly and being able to cash out or deposit as needed. If you wanted to get Voxel and Matic, you would need to deposit cash into the exchange or buy it through MetaMask like I showed you earlier, which is usually a little bit easier, but it's very, very good to have an exchange because you'll wanna be able to do some more complex interactions later and you might as well get the KYC out of the way because it can take some time to process. And finally, if you just need to top up some Voxel and you don't want to worry about an exchange and stuff, you can always just get it through the website as well. If you go to market.voxies.io and click on the Voxel button here, you'll have a direct line to be able to log in through MoonPay, which if you click this right here, you'll be able to log in. It'll ask you for your email address, and it's fairly straightforward to set up. After that, you'll be able to buy Voxel through Canadian, USD, Euros, whatever your home currency is, and get started so you that you can start renting immediately or buying potions or whatever you'd like to do guys i hope you learned a lot this episode voxel tokens have a wide variety of uses and we're going to be covering one of the major ones next video which is the arcanist forge this is going to be how you interact with your voxies crafting equipment and doing all of this stuff to get more powerful equipment so that you can actually compete in the extreme arena which will be the final video of the series i hope you're as excited as i am guys thanks so much for watching as always this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time Thank you.